Hi guys, welcome to a, another beer review. Today we're going over to Austria and we're going to the Brew Age Brewery and we're looking at the Chic Zulub, which I think is how it's pronounced. And this is an oatmeal stout clocking in at 5.4%. The hops are Tettinger, the malts are Pilsner Caramel and roast malts and the IBU count is 40 and the artwork on this label is from a guy called Christian Merzek and it's a very nice looking label indeed even though you can't see my face at all because I'm behind a frigging glass but I'm recording this beer review mid chat with uh, a few well a lot of beer tubers actually there's about 10 of us online right now so please excuse uh, all the flashing and such, but uh, yeah, best before 12th of the 11th, 2017, and it's even got cheers written on the uh, best before date, but you can't see it because of glare. And uh, yeah, lovely looking label, beautifully presented beer. I've seen these guys around, but I've never, let me move that out of the way. I've seen these guys around, but I've never really tried any of their beers. And I thought I'd give this one a go, so it's a relatively light oatmeal stout. And, uh, yeah, I'm currently in the process of drinking a light, a light and colour beer, then a dark beer, then a light and colour beer, and then a dark beer. And, uh, yeah, I thought it's about time that I did this. So I picked this up from Beretta, who have got a few of the um, Brew Age beers. Apologies if I'm a little bit... Uh, if I'm... What's the word? Yeah, whatever. Let's just pour the beer into the glass and see what we get. Lovely smoke. I don't know if you saw that. So, beer poured pretty much jet black. There's not even any like ruby hues or anything like that coming through. Lovely, rich looking beer. Poured with about Two and, well, yeah, two fingers worth of a mocha coloured head, and it's one of those beers that looks pretty much like a black coffee. Looks really nice so far. So we shall get an aroma. Getting lots of dark fruity tones in this one. <clears throat> Getting like a slight caramel aroma also. There's an ever so slight char to this one in the back end. It's got like a, a fermented aroma to it and it's almost got like a, a slight cabbage aroma but it works surprisingly well with those other flavours. A little bit of a smoky tone like a cigarette almost tobacco I should say. But then you get this like really dark, like molasses, treacle sort of aroma. Not too sweet. And it's actually got quite a few savoury tones in there. Yeah, it smells good. It smells nice so far. Lovely, pleasant coffee aroma in there also. Anyway, let's find out what it tastes like. Cheers. That is really nutty, really woody. It's almost got like a, a, a scorched barrel tone to it. Relatively light body as well, not watery or anything like that. I'd say like a mid body to it. But that carbonation comes through nicely and dispenses or disperses the beer really nicely around the palate. Very dry on the back end. And those like woody tones come through a lot as well. Definitely get like a, a gingerbread flavour in there. That smokiness is coming through also. And it's a little bit prickly. It's not harsh, but it's a bit prickly. It's not in that like peated smoke sort of way. Like what you'd get from... Uh, like a, a Rauk beer like that but it's got those smoky elements 
and it's got a nice amount of coffee on the flavour as well. In fact, you'd think that this was a coffee with a little bit of a, a slightly sweetened syrup in there. Those savoury tones that you get in the aroma, thankfully don't come through on the actual taste of the beer. And for an oatmeal stout, I was kind of expecting a little bit more body to it. But what is there is really, really nice. And you do pick up like those... <coughs> Hang on. You get that oatiness. That's what I wanted to say. You pick up those oats that are in the beer. It's not the most exciting oatmeal stout that I've ever had, but it's by far a bad one. Uh, it's a very solidly crafted beer, and a somewhat great, well, somewhat great. It's a good introduction to a brewery that I've not tried before, and I'm definitely interested to try what else they do. And this is one of those beers where if you're getting into European craft beer, you'd probably do much worse than this one but if you want a really robust and pleasurable experience for an oatmeal stout there are better uh, versions out there from different breweries but I don't mean to say that in a negative sense very solidly crafted and yeah very tasty even though you've got these like slightly harsh smoky tobacco char notes in there that there's this like lovely bitter chocolate mixed in with that coffee tone and then you get this like nice brown sugar almost slightly burnt caramel and it works perfectly it's it reminds me of tiramisu actually just not as sweet as a tiramisu would be but yeah, very solid beer indeed. In terms of a rating, I'm going to give that one 8 out of 10. If you've tried this beer from Brew Age, then let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you've tried any beers from these guys, feel free to give me some suggestions. Uh, check out Brew Age, of course. Links down below. If any of my friends here on YouTube have reviewed this one, the videos will also be included in the video description. And yeah, check out my stout playlist for more beer reviews. So, thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers.